what's good peeps, Galgon Returns is basically a remaster of a popular and fun on-rail shooter that was released originally in 2011 for the Xbox 360. The game did cause quite a stir with its somewhat risky premise and style, and many people are very excited for the game to get a lick of fresh paint as it is re-released in 2021 and should be available to pick up now. If you missed out on the original Galgon, we have you covered with five things I feel you should know about the game before purchasing. Number one. Galgon's Return is keeping the same gameplay as the original. It is an on-rail shooter that is set in a made-up Japanese academy where you play as a guy called Tenzu Mozuki. And he has the ability to shoot the girls of the school with a pheromone arrow as he tries to find one of the main girls that he has a thing for. Tenzui will move around on his own and the players control the rectacle on the screen, shooting the girls and the other things in the level as they go along. Number two. One of the key areas of the gameplay in Galgon Returns is the ecstasy shot. This remastered version has more girls than before so it's gonna be a real test of your skills. The ecstasy shot is when you blast a girl in that very special place and she is completely overcome with euphoria. It is the ecstasy shot that will make or break your run as you get more skilled playing the game. So far, Galgon Returns is scheduled for release on the PC and Nintendo Switch. There will be a digital version and also a physical version on the Nintendo Switch. And to me, this is definitely one of those nice games that very well could end up being a very rare gem. There is also a very cool special edition of the game, which considering how much stuff you are getting, I do feel it does kind of slight on the great deal side of things. It comes with some fun physical items such as a set of pin badges in a collector's box, an art book, art card and a strange set of safety goggles. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like the game will be coming to Xbox One or PlayStation 4 anytime soon, as recently we did get the news that the Xbox One version of the game did get cancelled, and this was never really mentioned as a game that was going to appear on the PlayStation 4 when it initially rolled out. So I kind of guess for now, you've got to obviously rely on playing the game on PC or Nintendo Switch, and to me, it's definitely still two great options to play this game. Number four. The early reviews for Galgon Returns are out and to me the reception is about what you would kind of expect for an on-rail shooter, especially one to me that is probably a better part of a decade old at this particular point. The reviews have praised the game's colourful graphics as well as the game having far more content than you would kind of expect. The risky nature of the game and the whole tongue-in-cheek aspect is also something that I have seen quite a few critics praise. Obviously on the other side this is probably quite a niche title and it may not really fit for all type of gamers out there and I suppose obviously this is probably geared at more people that do enjoy a game that kind of has that element of fan service. So I guess with all of that being said it does seem like an average score of around 6 out of 10 maybe moving closer to 7 out of 10 seems to be the general consensus for this particular game. Number 5 My honest opinion, some of the on-rail shooters of the past have definitely struggled when it comes to longevity and can kind of get a little bit repetitive. One way that Galgun seems to be combating this is with some of the game modes in Galgun Returns. You have the crazy story mode, which is a great deal of fun, and once you are done with that, you can also attack the score attack mode, the Doki Doki Carnival, and a few others in there. So there is definitely a lot to keep you entertained in this particular game. Anyway, peeps, that was just a very quick run through of five things I do feel you need to know about this game. As I mentioned at the start of the video, this game should be able to purchase as of today. So this is definitely one of those games that probably will have quite a few gamers sitting on the fence. I personally already pre-ordered the game, so this game should be hopefully coming today. So I will definitely let you guys know my thoughts about this particular one. And do let me know your thoughts in the comments below if this is a game that you will be picking up or whether it's just one of those games that are just a little bit too niche for your particular liking. As always, if you did enjoy this very quick urban game, gameplay video be sure to smash the like button do hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel before and until the next video we definitely say peace out peeps make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more cool urban gameplay videos